Hey gamers, Mucklick here to teach you how to do water sports quietly. This is the Silent Surf Fractal. Now let's get to the point. Click the box to get some utility items. Jump into the pit, press 2 to parachute. Use the 1 key to grappling hook over to the next pit. Use the 2 zip lines, and then use 1 or 2 to break your fall. Use flares if needed, that's 5, and stand in the circle to trigger a small fight. Kill them, use the box again. Jump down, bounce off the jumping mushroom. Grappling hook the stalactite and use Use the parachute to glide over to the next landing. Using three rockets you forward if needed. A brief pause to say that there are multiple ways of traversing these jumping puzzles. This is just a way to do it. Use the wind cannon. At the next spot, get four people in the circle. Kill the enemies. Nothing crazy here. Red areas are bad. Use the mislock singularity and the supplies. Wind cannon up to a zip line, you will grab it automatically. Fall on a jumping mushroom. If you are off course, you can use your parachute to correct. You will bounce into a wind cannon and land on a ledge. Use three to rocket yourself forward, parachute, then grappling hook onto these jumping mushrooms. You will bounce, wind cannon, zip line over to another ledge. Use parachute or grapple the wall to break your fall. Once four people are in the circle, you get attacked kill them. After a brief reprieve, your NPC friend is shoved and a new attacker appears. Turn your character away from the eye anytime it is visible. If you don't, you are rewarded with fear and pain. When you all get red circles, split up. You will have numbers on your head and the boss will hit each of you in that order. Use the numbers to know when you will get hit and dodge the damage. NPC friend is screaming. Help! Help! Help me! We'll help him in a second. Red areas are bad. Get this NPC's health to zero. Grab supplies and parachute down to save our fr- Ah, oh, screw it, he's dead. Final boss fight. Look away from the eyes, there are more of them now. Red circles are bad. If you get a red circle, run it out of the group before it drops on the ground. The spinny weapons apply lots of bleeds. Environment zone intensity turned down and the settings menu will clear the fog if you have trouble seeing attacks in the room. When everyone gets a red circle with a number, spread out, dodge to the side when he charges you, wait for it to end. He will charge back to where he began after the last player is hit, so stay out of the way. Every 10% the boss gets a break bar. CC it. Anytime you successfully CC him, he gets a buff that says the next CC will be more difficult. This stacks. If you fail the CC, he can spawn more adds, so more eyes to avoid and more damage. At 66 and 33%, he will start casting a large hit the room spell. The adds will charge orange beams on random players. If you get an orange beam on you for a few seconds, and running toward the ad seems to help here, it will move the ad to one of the islands. You will then see a large white beam, the other players cannot see this, pointed to an island. Special action key to get your gadgets back out, grappling hook to the island, kill the ad. I did this as a fully defensive druid, its hit points are low enough that anyone should be able to kill this. The strength of the explosion is weakened for each ad that you kill, but it is dodgeable. If you fail to kill all the ads, try to dodge roll the explosion. Block did not work for this mechanic in my testing. The explosion hits the whole room, even the island. If you somehow waste your grappling hook, look for one of the blue baggy waggies on the ground. They will replenish a charge of the hook. That's all the mechanics. Get the boss's health to zero to win the fight. Now you know your way around this archipelago. It means a chain of islands. You're welcome. Click these links.